scientists are trying to ensure that people can see in the dark. In fact, uh, the Science for Masses team has created eye drops that allows people to see in detail when they are in the dark. The solution is made of something known as CE6. It's a natural molecule that's used to treat night blindness, and it's used in some cancer treatments. So they wanted to test this out by uh, using the liquid solution on Gabriel Lucina. He's a biochemistry researcher. Within an hour, Lucina said he could identify shapes and the size of a hand about 30 feet away in the dark. He and four people who hadn't been dosed with the solution spread out into the woods up to 50 meters apart. He could identify each person with 100% accuracy, whereas everyone else had a lot of trouble doing so. So I think it's kind of fascinating that they're doing this. It could be really good for military use. It could be really good for regular consumer use. Let's say you're going camping, something that Kim has no interest in, <laughs> and to see in the dark. It makes a lot of sense. Now, apparently, it takes 20 days for all the noticeable side effects to go away. They weren't clear about what those side effects were, but they made it sound like everything was pretty benign. Drew, what do you think about this? Make your point. That's the one thing I want to know, is just the side effects. What entails of some of the side effects? But other than that, I'm all for it. Would you Night, try it? Absolutely. Night driving and camping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I would. I would try it. I, I think it would be fun just to try it, unless, the, unless there's some crazy side effects and yeah. you know, I turn pink and I'm, or like something like that. I don't want to try it. That wouldn't be fun. Yeah, yeah. Kim, what do you think? We actually covered this on Nerd Alert 2, and mm -hmm. I'm going to stick by my answer, which is no. I don't want to put these drops in my eyes until there's long-term testing. If you look at that picture, that guy's pupils are dilated so huge. He looks like Vin Diesel in the Chronicles of Riddick. I don't <laughs> want that. I, I've, I've spent a lot of money on LASIK. I'm not wrecking that with some eye drops. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, I, I think about things that I've put in my body that were dangerous, and I knew they were dangerous, but I didn't care. So if I was going to do this for experimental reasons, I'd probably do it. I mean. I'd like to see some long-term peer-reviewed studies, but I'm always amused at people who won't take aspirin when they have a headache, but they'll take ecstasy when they're out <laughs> of a rave, right? right? So yeah, I'd try it. I'd, I'd want to see what it's all about. All right, so here's the personal question for the story. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? This is a reoccurring question on the show, so I'm, I'm curious about you guys. Drew. Well, you know, you can go with the, the cliche answer. I feel like everybody usually says it's around like flying, but I feel like Mine would be something where, like, I could just recreate hundred dollar bills mm -hmm. forever. Counterfeiting? No, it's real. It's, as a matter of fact, it's real. Then I could just, because my thing is, when you fly, doesn't mean you get all the Superman's powers. So then, right. I might break a bone landing or something like that. Mm. I can buy a plane. I'm not breaking anything. <laughs> you are a man except, of nuance. Except breaking a bottle of champagne open in my plane because I'm right. filthy rich. Okay. I love it. I love it. Okay, printing money is definitely a superpower that everyone would be interested in. Kim, what about you? Ah, that's a tie. I think I would like to have time travel as an ability. Like, if I say something stupid, I would just go back and fix it because uh -huh. I do that a lot. There's also uh, Wolverine's power. So he has a healing factor. I can get over sicknesses quickly, wounds. I'd stay young forever. That's appealing. Oh, that sounds so For how good. long, though? You well, be, not forever. I mean, be young forever. You'd be starting, like, I can't do this It's anymore. slow. He's I slowly aging. going, and you're like, I'm still young. <laughs> I want to go, too. No, it's, but, you know, I, I fear aging, so I totally see that, and I get that. Um, what I would actually want is a thick skin superpower. So I think in my life, and everything's pretty good, right? The only time I'm in a bad mood is when I let people online get to me. And so my superpower would be um, no negative like emotion when I read something negative about myself, mm. right? I, I would rather like laugh at it than let it get to me. So if there is a superpower, I don't even know what you would call <laughs> it. I guess the thick skin superpower. I'd sure. When you that. said thick skin, I thought you meant like the thing where he develops rock skin. Literally, you can't get stabbed. Or nothing Look, I, I live. I live a <laughs> charmed life. Smash. Okay, I don't have to do anything crazy or strenuous. So you I don't, just I don't fire back at those, you know, Twitter <laughs> Twitter buff people. They think yeah. they're just like they're all the, fucking like eggs. Yeah, and those people. I tell them to come find me and take to my face. Yeah, it's yeah. clobbering time. Yeah. Right well, you're come like seven me. feet tall. If you're you want to see, pro athlete, see it, like yeah, come come, come find on. me. I'll, I'll give you my address. I'll DM you my address and my phone number. You come talk to me and we'll talk personally. Damn. Well, I want to know if you guys would try it. What do you think of the night vision? Uh, solution and do you think it's even important to see in the dark that's another question that I'd love you guys to answer so comment in the section below and we will see you soon